What is up home slice? Lucas here. So if I had to relearn the backflip all over again, say I just forgot it, I didn't know how to do it, or if it was my first time teaching myself the backflip, how would I learn the backflip with what I know now? I'm gonna tell you how I would learn the backflip if I did not know how to, if I was scared to do it, and well, if I had no gym. Now back in 2012, I remember saying I would go to a wood chip pile and try to like, you know, throw it backwards there. But since then, I've learned a lot of new hacks. Here are some of the hacks and techniques I would use to learn the backflip if I had no idea what I was doing. You don't have to copy me step for step, but seeing what I'm doing might encourage you, might inspire you. Pay attention. By the end of this video, I'll be backflipping. All right, I'm still in the same room. Why is that? Well, the first step I would actually take, if I had no idea what to do, learning the backflip, no gym, I would put the mattress on the floor. All right, we got the mattress on the ground. Whew, I'm getting, getting nervous. I'm gonna try my first backflip progression attempt ever. Now, I was spotting it out. What I'd do first is, you know, feel it out, make sure there's nothing sharp in there. You know, make sure daddy and mommy didn't leave anything in there. All right, it's all good, it's all good. Okay, it's good. Sheets aren't too crusty. <laughs> to be real, I, I don't think I would um, actually jump on the mattress like this. Personally, I think I would start right on the ground because I would think in the future and think like, yo, I wanna know what it feels like to jump off the ground to do the flip. That's just how I would approach it. So I would start approaching it with the mattress up hack from the 25 ways to backflip video or the learn backflip inside of your house video. Yeah, I know a lot of backflip videos, okay. This is another one. So the first thing I would do is instead of just hucking a hack flip or like a back flip or a back handspring or like something like that, I would actually, man, it's my first time, I would square up with the mattress with my legs and I'd turn like this and then I'd roll forwards onto the mattress. Whoa. Whoa. Then what I would do is I'd ooh, start to get amped. You gotta get excited to do these things, all right? And I would turn, but not all the way, and then I would uh, toss myself sideways a little bit like that. Ooh, whoa, that felt strange, felt weird. Then I would turn a little bit more away and I'd start to try to throw over like this. Oh, oh put my hand down. Oh, oh man, we started to go backwards, we started to go backwards. Then I would turn even more away. Okay, we got this, we got this. Get more amped, more amped. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, oh. Close. That was close. That was so close. Then I would turn all the way, baby, like this. We went upside down. We went upside down. Artificial excitement. You gotta get excited. So literally, I would use the mattress. I just feel like that for me would help me get over just going backwards for the first time ever. And that would be the first thing I'd do. I'd probably do that a few more times. I'd probably try to like clean that up. Maybe if I'm feeling like zealous, you know, I'd really try to get get solid in there. Oh, like that, oh, that was a good one. And then from there, I'd be like, you know what? Yo, I think we're ready to take this outside. Either that or my mom would be like, dinner's ready. Or she'd be like, what the heck is going on up there? With that being said, that's step one. It's time to move on to step two. The next step I would do if I had a trampoline, all right? This is an optional step. And I'm gonna tell you what I would do if I didn't have one. But if I had a trampoline, I would then attempt some backflips on the trampoline. Just to compare that no bounce on the ground from inside versus the bounce on the trampoline. But then shortly after getting around on the trampoline, even if I didn't land it, I would start doing the trampoline the trampoline. I would start doing the trampoline edge hack. So if, literally the first thing I'd do is I would take what I learned from inside and I'd try to apply it on the trampoline if I had a trampoline, which was this. Then I'd go this. And I'd go this. Even if I was just that close and I didn't even get the backflip yet, I would start doing the edge hack. All right, so listen up, boss, I'm serious, all right? I would seriously come to the edge of the trampoline. This is just how I would do it, all right? This isn't the safest way to learn it, absolutely not. But this would help me get over that fear. So the idea behind the trampoline edge hack is you basically jump off the edge of the trampoline where there is no bounce and land on the trampoline where it is softer to help you get over the fear. But at the same time, the jump would be the same as doing a backflip on the ground because there is no bounce. That's the science behind the trampoline edge hack. How I would approach it though, instead of just going all the way for it like this or working my way up with both feet, 
hack within a hack, all right? You gotta, you know, you guys are learning some new stuff from this video. I would only put one foot on the trampoline edge the first time I'd try it. So I'd do a backflip here, or, a ha or like a half, uh, half done backflip. Then I would come up closer, put one foot on that edge, and then try to jump. I don't know, something about just one foot at a time, you know? And then I try to clean that up, just like I learned from inside, from turning over inside. Oh, there we go. And then I would, I would double it up. Make sure it's solid, all right? Remember to jump backwards too, a little backwards. Now if I was close, even if I didn't even totally land it, I'd move on to step three. All right, because the trampoline is starting to get sketchy and I'd want to move somewhere soft, but somewhere also hard, like the grass. All right, bounce, step number three. Now this is step number two, if I didn't have a trampoline. Yeah, so if I didn't have a trampoline, I'd just be skipping to this step out here, or maybe I would try jumping on the mattress. Probably not, I'd probably just skip to this step, all right? Being real, I put a lot of thought into this. The next one I would actually try to do is the hill hack, all right? But I would combine the hill hack with the makaku hack, all right? So the makaku, the monkey flip, that's over the side, over the back. Now see, how would I come about learning this makaku if I had no idea what I was doing? Well, it would kind of just like form, form its way. So I'd make sure there's no needles in the hill, you know, no needles, no broken glass. Now the next thing I would do, is I would actually probably get down low like this, all right, in a squat leg position. I'm getting down like this, but I'm up top of the hill right here. Now what I would do is um, I would do my front roll. Yo, so I'd go like this, <sighs> just like that. Look at my hand, turned in like this, down here. All I gotta really do is lean back, and I'm coming around it. Hill's making it so easy. Are you guys seeing this? And then from there, I would thrust the hips a little bit more and try to go over backwards more. I want to sit down, I know it. And then from there, I would actually start to try to throw it. All right, I'd, I'd brace myself, I'd get amped up. Oh, gotta get amped up. Can't be afraid to land on my knees. I'm probably gonna slip and hit my face. Don't slip and hit your face. All right. Just like that, I would do it, I know it. I almost did a back handspring. I went upside down, I know it, I know I did. And the hill's making it so much easier until I'm like, okay, 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 okay. Yo, so if I didn't say it already, basically what I did was I combined the hill hack number 23 with the makaku hack number like seven. I, I don't know the numbers, there's some number in there, but. Yo, so like that's what we're doing, man. We're combining these hacks, all right? We're combining them. That's like, that's how I would think. So you can combine them, you can delete them, you can do whatever you want. Man, look at how pretty and epic this video is. Doing a backflip for the first time is also pretty epic. And what is that awful noise? All right, yo, I would go to the park because it's open, it's wide open. I don't know, something about that just clears my mind and I feel like if I was learning to do the backflip for the first time, I would wanna go somewhere where my mind is clear, where there's not like structures too close by me, where I'm just like, oh man, what if I hit that? What if my foot got caught in that? It's just a mental thing. I need to clear my mind, I need to feel free, I need to feel fresh. I would then, I would scope out the ground, make sure there's nothing sharp on the ground, nothing that my foot would get caught in. I'd toss my shoes off because I want to be light. I would start doing the same exact thing I was doing down the hill in step three, step two if we didn't have the trampoline. Then I would start turning away and start going over, doing the makaku basically. And I would notice I kind of need to jump a little more because there's no hill that I get to go down. Maybe I'm thinking I might do an elbow check. What's an elbow check? Elbow check, all right? It's low, it's low. Elbow check, see that? Elbows down right there. All right, then from there, there's this little setup that I would do for it to get a little extra momentum and also just, I don't know, something about just doing a straight up standing backflip right away. It just is like, oh man, do I have enough jump force to go? I need a little momentum, right? So I would do this little setup, this little jank setup. Basically what I do is, since I like to go towards my left shoulder when I do that hack flip thing, what I do is I, walk up to it, and then I jump turning towards my left, and then into it. This just helps me get a little bit of extra momentum, and if I was learning the backflip for the first time, 
this would have naturally came to me. How do I know that? Because I remember when I learned it for the first time, I used to do this little silly setup right here. So go like this, walk, walk, turn, jump, over like that. Walk, walk, turn, over. Now I'd start doing that little makaku thing. I do it again. Walk, walk. Yo, and then when I was feeling zealous, man, I would start to jump up, start to tuck a little more. Maybe put my hands down over more back. No hands, no hands. I'm gonna do no hands now. Okay. First right. So that's how it would go. Artificial excitement. Arms would go back on the jump. So arms back on the jump, then up. See that? Very important. Because arms back, jump. It's not conventional. It's just what I would do. Oh! Bonus step I would do. If I had access to like, you know, poles standing up like this close to each other, bleachers like I used in the hack video, I think I would actually, if I was still having trouble like turning upside down, use the resistance band hack to get over that fear. Yes, I would use that one. Why? Because you're jumping off the ground and it's hard. I think I would actually use that one if I needed to. If, you know, this was still like, you know, tweaking my mind, if I was still like, oh man, I don't know, I would use that hack um, as a bonus hack. Other than that, that is how I would learn to do the backflip for the very first time if I had to start right now, if I had no idea what I was doing, if I had no gym, if I was afraid. Hey, let me know if you wanna see any more videos like this, how I would learn something else if I had to learn it the first time again, as of right now today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support, positive feedback. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace, you all have a good one. I'll see you all in the next video.